ready? Ready. Sasha here from NetbookNews.com. We finally made it over to the Samsung booth at the CES 2010 in Las Vegas. And actually, we just found this little fellow over here. That's a Samsung N127. Uh, I never heard from this uh, product before. Well, actually, I know about all this other Samsung netbooks. Um, before we're taking a look at the operating system, which is kind of different, um, let's take a quick look at the system. It kind of reminds me um, of the N130 or N140 that uh, got, uh, which got announced during EFER in Berlin in 2009 in September. Trackpad, uh, trackpad. <coughs> sorry, sorry. It's the last day, so I might uh, made some mistakes during the video. Um, the keyboard, uh, pretty much the same quality as we already saw on the NC10. So one of my favorite keyboards on the netbook market. Um, yeah, um, reasonable size trackpad, uh, a single mouse button. Well, I got used to it because uh, the NC10 is still my everyday netbook, but I would love to see separate mouse buttons on there. Um, we have a 1.3 megapixel camera in here. I think a uh, microphone should be somewhere. Oh, oh, well, there it is. Um, let's take a look around the system. Yeah, it totally reminds me of the N130. So um, there's a connector for your PSU, a Kensington keylock, two USB 2.0s, and uh, we have here the power button. That's a uh, four-in-one card reader. Um, that's a microphone and headset jack, another USB 2.0 VGA out, and an Ethernet connector. This looks to me like a sweet. I'm pretty sure that this is a three-cell battery, right? Uh, but if it's not, so let me know in the comments. But the interesting thing is, oh, by the way, so this is an easy access to the memory slot. So if you want to upgrade uh, to two gigabyte of RAM, which I can definitely uh, recommend in general, because it adds some extra performance to your network platform. But now let's switch it on and let's see what kind of operating system is running on there. So I think this one comes with a 160 gigabyte, 250 gigabyte hard disk, Intel Atom N450, one, one gigabyte or two gigabyte of RAM. It's a 10 inch display, 10.1 inch, 1024 by 600. Oh, that's not a Windows mouse pointer. It's booting, it's booting, it's booting. This system is really, really looking for an SSD in my opinion. <laughs> So sorry, Samsung. It's booting. It's booting. So hey, it's Moblin. I'm not sure which Moblin it is. For me, it looks like the basic version. That means Intel Moblin 2.0, 2.1. Uh, what you can just download at the Moblin uh, website. So you have over here um, your calendar and all your appointments, a link to your email client, YouTube player, media player, and word processor. And uh, we have a couple of websites here. So a kind of news and content stream. And over here we have, wow, this looks to me like uh, a MySpace integration. So they're using the same front end that uh, um, as uh, MSI was showing with the MSI Wind U135. There's nothing new right now on this Moblin version, but interesting to see that also Samsung has a netbook with Moblin and with Linux. So that's a Samsung netbook N127. This is Sasha from netbooknews.com at CES 2010 in Vegas. Thanks for watching.